In this video, we're going to talk about clinical and non-clinical information. Why is this important, you may ask? As a pharmacy technician, there are certain things you are and are not allowed to discuss with the patient. Clinical information are the things that the pharmacist will have to review and verify, whereas the non-clinical information are things that you're able to look and determine yourself. A great rule of thumb to follow is to ask yourself this question down here in red. Could the wrong answer affect the patient's health? As we go ahead and we go over some of these clinical and non-clinical topics, ask yourself the question, could the wrong answer affect the patient's health? If the answer is yes, then it would be considered clinical information. If the answer is no, then it would be non-clinical and you'd be able to address it yourself. Here are some things that would be considered clinical. Directions. Would the wrong answer affect the patient's health? Yeah, it would. Because if you give the wrong directions, they're taking it wrong and they're not, not as the doctor wants them to take it. The drug name? Yes. It would affect the patient's health because what if it's just the wrong drug altogether? The drug strength? Well, if the drug's not strong enough, it won't have the same effect. And if it's weak enough, it won't have any effect or it won't have as much effect and it will be able to affect the patient. And the patient name, you don't want to send it to the wrong patient. So yeah, that would affect it as well. Not just the patient, but whoever receives that medication. Dosage form, that can kind of go with the drug name and strength. Dosage form like the tablet, capsules, those kind of things. If you're ever questioning how they want it or how the dosage is supposed to be, you should always have a pharmacist determine. Another one that's not typed out that I want to include is going to be the allergies. So if the patient's allergic to something and you're not sure what it is, the pharmacist is going to have to verify the allergies. So now for the non-clinical information, date written. Is the prescription written for the wrong date going to affect the patient's health? No. So that's something that you can determine. The quantity and the day supply? Well, if the directions are correct, then you should be able to determine the quantity of the day supply. So the quantity of the day supply isn't necessarily going to affect the patient's health. Refills, that's not going to affect the patient's health. Prescriber name, that's not going to affect the patient's health. And the Rx origin, so how the prescription was received. And maybe it was faxed in. These are just examples. So maybe it was faxed in or mailed in, or even if the patient brings it in. It all depends on where you work. Patient brings in prescription. Brings in Rx. And so as you can see, the clinical information would affect the patient's health, whereas the non-clinical information would not. Make sure if you have any questions, don't guess, but ask an experienced technician you work with for some help. Remember, the patient's safety always comes first. And that's it for the video.